This video covers homework number five in Math 94, sections 9, 1, and 9, 2. This is the third video that deals with application problems like problems 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 on homework number five. All of these problems deal with what is known as the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem applies to what we call a right triangle. A right triangle is a triangle with one right or 90 degree angle. In a right triangle, the two sides next to the 90 degree angle are called legs. So the side A and the side B are called legs. And the side opposite the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse. Turns out Pythagoras discovered that in all right triangles, the following relationship holds. The sum of the squares of the leg equals the square of the hypotenuse. So, written in symbols, if A and B are legs and C are the hypotenuse, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It also turns out that the converse, or the opposite, of the Pythagorean theorem holds. If you have a triangle and A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then it is a right triangle. We're going to use that principle to help us solve a few problems. Here's the first one might look familiar from your homework. Find this value x here. If you look closely at this figure, you'll see that you can pull out a little right triangle here with x, 3, and 6. Since this is a right triangle, Pythagorean's theorem holds a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, c has to be the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle. So that's 6 squared. a squared is x squared. b squared is 3 squared. So that's x squared plus 9 equals 36. Now solve this like the problems we solved in video 2. We're going to subtract 9. And x squared equals 36 minus 9, which is 27. Take the square root of each side. Now, normally, I would write plus or minus here. But in this case, x represents a physical distance. So clearly, it must be positive. And the square root of 27 might be acceptable. Or you can simplify that by saying 9 times 3 is 27. And since 9 is a perfect square, you can pull it out and get the answer 3 times the square root of 3. Try for your own to do this problem right here. Very similar. You might want to stop the video and start when you have it completed. OK, to do this problem, I'll draw the right triangle that's inside of it. You notice that's an 8 and a 4 and an x. Using Pythagorean's theorem again, since it is a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. x squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared. 8 squared is 64. 4 squared is 16. x squared is just x squared. Now subtract 16 from each side. And that gives you x squared equals 48. Take the square root of each side. And that gives you x equals the square root of 48. At this point, that might be good enough. Or it might ask for an approximate answer, at which point you can put that into your calculator. Square root of 48. And then round appropriately. But if it asks for an exact answer, Again, take out the largest square root, which in this case is 16. 16 times 3 is 48. That gives you x equals the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. And that gives you 4 times the square root of 3 equals x. OK, let's try another problem with perfect square. This one, determine if the set of numbers could be links of the side of a right triangle. Remember that if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, 
then you've got a right triangle. The question is, what is A and B and C? Remember, C has to be the longest side. So if you look at these three numbers, clearly the longest side is 8. What's A and B is irrelevant. It doesn't matter which one you make A and B. They're just added together on the same side of the equation. So now let's see if this is true. 4.8 squared, if I use my calculator, gives me 23.04. 6.4 squared gives me 40.96. If I add those two together, I get the sum 64, which, by the way, equals 8 squared. So the answer here is yes. This is a right triangle. All right, a few more application problems to do. Here's one that you might see on your homework. A support wire for a 70-foot tall radio antenna is to be fastened halfway up the antenna. The other end of the wire is to be attached to the ground 16 feet from the base of the tower. OK, I better draw a picture. Now you can see I'm not an art major. This is my tower here, and that whole thing is 72 feet. And we're going to attach a support wire halfway up. So here's my support wire. And I know that when I attach it to the ground that this hopefully is a right angle. And I know from the pro problem that this is 16 feet. Since this is halfway up, I need to take half of 72, which is 36. And it wants to know how long is the wire. I'll call that Y. Well, looking at this picture, you see that famous right triangle. And y this time is the hypotenuse. y squared equals 36 squared plus 16 squared. If I take the square roots of each side, I get this. Again, I only need the positive square root because this is a physical distance. Now, I left it like this because I want to point out that on your calculator, you can easily do this whole problem in one step. I could take square root, notice the parentheses is already there, 36, hit x squared plus 16, hit x squared, and parentheses, hit enter, and you get about 39.395. It said round to the nearest tenth, so that's 39.4 feet. So that helps us answer that question. Here's a problem, just slightly different that I'd like you to try, and then we'll do together. One set of three support cables attached halfway up a power tower. See the figure. Height equals 180 feet. The cables are to be attached to the ground at a distance from the tower equal to one-fourth of the total height of the tower. Although the tower is on a hill, assume the ground is level around the tower. What is the total length of cable needed to brace the tower around your answer to the nearest foot? So you might want to pause the video and try this on your own. Now we know this height is 180. So halfway up would be 90 feet. Okay, that's going to be 90 feet. Notice there are three cables. I'm going to look just at a triangle made with one of these cables. This would be 90. We don't know what this is. And this is supposed to be 1 quarter the height of the tower, the total height of the tower. So 180 divided by 4, well, what's that? That's 45. So one of these is going to be solved by using Pythagorean's theorem. y squared equals 90 squared plus 45 squared, or y equals the square root of 90 squared plus 45 squared. And remember, I need three of them. So I'm going to take this answer, multiply by three, and then round to the nearest foot. I need my calculator. I can't do that one in my head. So let's bring my calculator out here. I'll clear this out. And I'm going to take square root of 90 squared plus 45 squared. There it is. I'm going to multiply that by 3 because I need three cables bracing this tower. And now I'm going to round to the nearest foot. Rounding that to the nearest foot, I get 302. 
and 302 feet should be my answer. I hope you have found this video useful.